What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build an email list from scratch. Hey guys, it's Ben Nader. I am an entrepreneur. I run a recruiting agency and I also teach a recruiting mentorship program for people that are getting into recruiting. If you like my content, I talk about entrepreneurship, business, recruiting, startups, pretty much everything in between. If you do, smash that subscribe button and you will thank me later. Ryan Dice, basically the top internet marketer in the world said that email marketing is still king even now in 2020. He even went as far to say that your number one focus should be on your email list, not any other of your social platforms. Other top internet marketers have also said that email marketing is here to stay. It works great. It's a perfect way to stay in contact with your list and your customer base and it's definitely something you should keep your focus on and definitely a list you should build if you don't have already. Whether you have a blog, a website, you run an e-commerce website, you sell on Etsy, Amazon, eBay, or even if you're still in the brick and mortar game, across all of those different venues, email is still going to be your best friend as far as marketing goes. It is a statistical fact that 75% of buyers are on some form of email list from anywhere from three months to three years. Basically, that means you need to get people on your email list like now. Email is key for literally anything you want to drive traffic to for, for literally any purpose. I want to show you how you can create a super simple, easy email list really quick by using duck soup an extension on chrome with linkedin and you could basically grab emails non-stop so let's dive right into my computer i'm going to show you exactly how it works and i'll see you on the other side all right guys so we are inside my computer right now and i'm just recording my screen so i went to ducksoup.com this is exactly how it's spelled dux-soup.com super weird name but super cool tool so anyways this plugs right into LinkedIn, which makes it super awesome um, and super convenient. And it helps us find emails and it does a whole ton of other things. So I'm gonna try to keep this really brief, but this is the basic website. You can actually download it and try it for free. I have the paid version. Uh, it is 15 bucks a month. So it's definitely not gonna break the bank whatsoever. Um, trust me, I do not get paid to endorse them. I wish I did, but anyways, um, Duck Soup does a whole ton of stuff. Let's pop off of their website. Let's just go straight to LinkedIn and I'm gonna show you exactly how to grab emails using duck soup so um what i'm going to do here is i'm first going to pop open duck soup it's this little duck right here it's a google chrome extension so it'll show up right here and effectively what you are doing is you're going to go ahead and check the options first okay because duck soup has so many powerful options that you want to make sure it's doing things properly and it's not going to get you banned off of linkedin although that's quite rare as long as you are following the guidelines so for these purposes, I'm simply going to show you how to grab emails. I'm not going to show you how to do the connecting and messaging and uh, all the other things that it does. But um, what you need to do is basically something like this. You need to grab um, the tag profiles and you need to name it something like um, e just, just type emails. OK, that would be perfect. Um, then, of course, you want to exclude blacklist, blacklist profiles from your automated actions. Um, and then you want to hit skipping, okay? Um, skip if outside your network. Skip if the profile is blank. Um, skip if the profile is, uh, profile's tag is emails. Again, um, this is just because that means we've already seen that profile. We don't want to see that again. And I'm also going to go ahead and... Yeah, no, I'll leave that there. So, okay, all right, so now that we've set those, we can basically close this, because we're all ready to go. So how do you connect with uh, your connections and grab their emails? First, I'm gonna hit my network, okay? So I'm gonna go to my network, let's 
going a little bit slow. I'm going to refresh that um, to get my network up. Okay, so my personal network is coming up. The first thing I'm going to do is hit connections. And that is going to bring me to the next step. Let's see here, cool. All right, so um, these are connections. I, I can sort them. In fact, let me sort them just to make this a little bit more interesting um, so that I can find some pretty cool emails. Um, let's see here. Refresh this again. Sort by recently added. Uh, um, is it going to let me sort by it? No, it's not. Okay. All right. We're going to roll with it. Forget about it. It's all good. Okay. So here's how we're going to do this. Um, basically, once you have this list up of your connections, these are all your connections. Uh, you could literally run through all 4,000 something of my connections. And what it's going to do here is I'm going to go to Duck Soup and I'm going to start the machine. I call it a machine because it's literally a robot. That's what it does. So what I'm going to do is visit profiles. Okay, that's all I want to do. These down here are for connecting to profiles, uh, scanning profiles for other data, visiting and connecting and leaving messages. We don't want to do that. We just want to visit the profiles. And immediately Duck Soup is going to start. Now, as you can see on screen, it's going to be pausing. And the reason it does that is for safety, okay? So as you know, LinkedIn tracks all this stuff. They know whether you're using these Chrome extensions or not. You simply have to be safe about it. And you simply have to basically not go crazy and grab like 500 emails a day. So you can see exactly what it's doing on every page. Right now, it's on Terry Wagner's page. It's visiting the page and it's finding his email. And what it's going to do is it's going to spit out a CSV file at the end once we're done. I'm going to let this run for like an hour, and then uh, after that, I'll show you the results. All right, guys. So I have been running Duck Soup. Um, I just decided to shut it off, and now I'm going to pop into Duck Soup. I'm going to go to where it says Download Data, and that's going to be able to show me. I'm going to say hit Visit Data, and this is going to be able to show me a CSV file, just like I was talking about of all the information that it collected um, while it was running um, its thing. So this is populating right now. It's going to open up. Let's see. All right, boom. So we've got the CSV file. And so <clears throat> this is going to give me way more information than I need. It's going to show me all the LinkedIn profiles that it visited. Um, it's going to give me, yeah, all their cover photos, all kinds of stuff. First names, last names, um, their titles, headlines. But what I really want to do is just go up here and I'm going to go and scroll to where it says email. So this section right here is going to give me all the emails that I was able to find. So really, really simple. And it actually collected some phone numbers too. So anyways, um, long story short, basically, Duck Soup went through and collected all these emails for me while I had it running. Now, mind you, I did not have it running for a super, super long time. So it didn't go crazy. It didn't collect like every email um, in the world. Let's say like 30 emails. Um, it collected about 30 emails um, for me to utilize. So, um, and a, bu a bunch of other data, right? It, it, it just scrolled these entire profiles for all the different things that um, these individuals do. But long story short, now I have the basis on which I can actually start a huge email list by simply, you know, taking, um, you know, these emails right here and basically just utilizing them, um, just copying them or whatever and grabbing them, adding them and just throwing them into some CRM or something like that. But this is uh, essentially the way you grab emails using Duck Soup. Simple enough. So basically, get Duck Soup. It lets you run this pretty much as much as you want. Uh, the limit to catch every single day is about 100 emails. Beyond that, LinkedIn is going to look at you and kind of say, 
hey, what are you doing? It'll no notice some odd behavior. But other than that, um, this is a really, really good way to collect emails. So with that being said, uh, boom, that's it. This is the start of your email list. So guys, I'm gonna hop back out. I'll see you on the other side. All right, so that's duck soup automatically grabbing a ton of email addresses for us from our connections on LinkedIn. Super cool, right? But wait, there's more. The question is, what do you do with all of these emails once you have them? Well, that, my friend, depends very much on your ultimate goal. Do you want to sell something? Do you want to simply nurture leads? Do you want to simply say what's up and send out a newsletter or a hi, hey, how you doing? It just depends on exactly what your ultimate goal is with that email list. Now, everyone has a different strategy, something that they're after. Some people are selling supplements, e-commerce products. Some people wanna warm them up for coaching or something or another, but you have to figure out your goal and then you can decide exactly how often to send out emails and what the content of your email will be. The bottom line is once you have an email list, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. I personally see people running email blasts every single day to their email list to try to sell something, give an offer out, or just as a newsletter or share an article. One thing that's super cool about email is that it doesn't matter who you know, it matters who knows you. And so for that fact, when you're sending out tons and tons of emails, everyone on your list knows you, you might not necessarily know them, but that is the way to win the game. Everybody knowing you, your product, your service, your offering, whatever it might be, you want people to know that not necessarily the other way around. Now there are so many more ways that entrepreneurs can gather emails by the troves. Like if you have some sort of lead magnet, you can send that out such as a guide or a PDF or something for free and collect an email and thousands of people might want that. If you have a cool blog and you say, hey, check out this article, but grab me your email address first, right? You can grab emails nonstop. And it's not uncommon for maybe an e-commerce store to have 50,000 or more email addresses on their list. No matter where you are in your entrepreneurial journey, I highly suggest that creating an email list comes as number one, two, or three in priority of what you are actually doing right now. Because eventually down the line, let's say you start a sneaker line, you're gonna want some customers, and you're gonna have them on a list already. So listen, social platforms like Facebook, Instagram are super cool, super intuitive, and everybody's on them. But guess what? Everybody checks their email like they check their text messages. Imagine that power. All right, so let me just give you a little recap of everything I went over in this video. Email lists are incredibly important for businesses. Email lists are incredibly easy to build with the right tools. Go ahead and download Duck Soup for LinkedIn. It's 15 bucks a month. You'll thank me later, and it will definitely be the beginning of you starting your first email list. And last but not least, give your email list a purpose. Use it for something like selling or just keeping in touch with your audience. Guys, I hope this video helps you out tremendously. If it does, please smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, as well as the alert button so that you know every single time I come out with a new video. Until then.